Hi friends, welcome back to Literacy. Today in your CJ, please write lesson 28, part one for whatever day of the week you are having class. And pause the video if you need more time, but I am gonna move on. We're gonna start by getting out our workbook and turning to page 153. 153. I want you to read the words and highlight the advanced phonogram SC, and then let's figure out what it says, okay? All right, <clears throat> let's read these words together. First one is seen. Next is science, very good. Next is sense. And then this one is scepter. And here we have discipline. And here, fascinate. Here, scissors. Here, ascent. And here, descend. And here is discern. Very good. So what do you think this phonogram says? What do you think that phonogram says? Whoops, let's turn that off. <clears throat> Based on this, you can probably say that it says very good. So this is the Latin spelling of It also says sh in a crescendo, or sorry, as in crescendo. There we go. I don't know how to say that word right. So this sound says sh. Say that again. Sh. Very good. What do you notice <clears throat> about this phonogram? Something that the C. Do you remember a rule we have? It says C only says S before E, I, or Y. When do you think it would be used? Maybe before an E, I, or Y? Yeah, otherwise the C would say K, right? So cool that we have these spelling rules to help us. So do the words in this list follow the rule? Seen crescendo. Yeah, do you see the E and the E? So before E, I, or Y, it says, or in this case, shh. It's not saying that hard k sound, right? Yeah, very good. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna close my workbook. I think you can close yours too for now, but do keep it handy. And we're gonna drill some phonograms. All right, let me grab a bunch and hide our new one. All right, ready? All right. Ow, o oh, may be used at the end of English words. Ez, z. Whoa, I threw one. Hua. I, three letter I, that may be used, sorry, <laughs> used at the end of a base word or before a T. New one. A, O, U, L, F, off. A, E, I may not be used at the end of English words. A, F, used at the end of a base word or before a T. Or, ng, A, two letter A, 
that may not be used at the end of English words. Er, the er of her. A, E may be used at the end of English words. Two letter. G, G, W. Yeah, I forgot if there was a spelling rule or not. Sh. K, two letter. K. Oi may not be used at the end of English words. Ah, two letter ah, that may be used at the end of English words. Ooh, you, that may be used at the end of English words. Ed, d, t, past tense ending. R, o, u, that may be used at the end of English words. Mm. Do you remember this one? Shh, like ocean, remember? C, n, two letter n, used only at the beginning of a base word. A, I, used at the end of a base word or before a T. A, two letter A, that may not be used at the end of English words. N, two letter N, used only, or used at the beginning or the end of a base word. <clears throat> Oi, that may be used at the end of English words. E, the E of field. E F A were er the er of search. Awesome job, my friends. All right, I'm gonna get out my whiteboard and I wanna teach you something a little different today, something definitely brand new. Let me try and show them on my whiteboard. All right. Sometimes a phonogram sound will change to become more like the sound next to it in a word. That makes it easier to pronounce. Let's take a look at some of these sounds. We're gonna start by looking at this. All right, use the first long sound of U which is you, what does this word say? Tear, tear, right? You, er, tear. Now say tear faster and faster to yourself. Tear, 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 tear. How do the sounds change? Did you hear how mine changed? Tear, 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 tear. My T kind of became a, a CH sound, a CH sound. And my YER became ER. It went kind of from TIER to CHER. So why do you think the sounds T and YER change when you say them quickly? Well, we know the sound T, the T sound, is formed by touching the tongue to the roof of our mouth. The sound U is formed in the back of the mouth. To blend these sounds, the T turns into CH because the sound CH is also formed by touching the tongue to the roof of the mouth, but it's a little bit further, further back than at the front of our mouth where the T sound is. So that's closer to where the U sound is formed. The sound er, er is formed on the top of the mouth, like your, but it is also a little further forward, closer to where ch is formed. Er is also a bit easier to say than your 
because it's a lazy sound. So when sounds change to become more like other sounds beside them, it's called assimilation. Say assimilation. Very good. <clears throat> what do you notice about the word assimilation? What word is it like? Do you see any words in assimilation? Maybe if I do this, that can help you. What is almost that word? And no, I'm not thinking of simile, but it's close. Did you figure it out? It's kind of like the word similar, right? Yeah, so when sounds assimilate, they become similar. How are the sounds t, u, er becoming similar by changing to chur? Well, the sounds are moving to a more similar place in the mouth, remember? Some are moving forward, some are moving back, and so they kind of meet in the middle. And that makes them easier to say. Now let's look at this. What does this say? Again, use the first long sound of U, U for this letter. U or sure, sure. Say sure faster and faster. Sure, 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 sure. Mine became sure than yours. Kind of like a tongue twister. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> so how do the sounds change? The S became sh. And the year, year became er. Why do these sounds assimilate? Do you remember? Because they're moving to a more similar place in the mouth, which makes them easier to say. And do you remember what it's called when sounds change? What was that big long word? Assimilate. Very good. What does this say? The second sound of S. What does that say? Z. Very good. Now, what does this say? Use the first long sound U. U for this letter. Z, U, er, zier, zier. Say zier faster and faster. Zier, 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 zier. Mine kind of ended up like zier. Did yours? Zier, 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 zier. 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 Interesting. What about this one? Again, use the first long sound of U for this letter. D, U, er, dear. Say dear faster and faster. Dear, 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 dear. Mine ended up like jer. Dear, 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 dear. Do you hear that? Interesting. What about, ooh, tricky one, how about this? Are you up for the challenge? What does this say? Again, use the long sound of U for this letter. X, U, er, Xier, Xier, Xier. Say Xier faster and faster. Ooh, this one's tricky. 
scare, 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 scare. The long U sometimes distorts the sounds t, d, and x. Words where this happens will need extra attention when we're spelling them. Go ahead, open your workbook back up to page 156. 156. <clears throat> All right, read the words below. Pronounce each word as if each sound is clearly articulated. Then blend the sounds together quickly, saying the word the way it is normally pronounced. Highlight the sounds that are assimilated. All right, or you can put a box around them if you only have a pencil handy. All right, let's do the first four together, okay? All right, we have closure. Now let's read each sound as if it was clearly articulated. Closure. Closure. Okay. But the word is closure. So what letters are being assimilated here? Which ones change? Remember, assimilated means change. The S-U-R. Closure is actually the word closure. You can hear the zure there. So those are our assimilated sounds. Let's do this word. This is culture. Now let's sound it out as if we were articulating each sound. Culture, culture. All right, so what sounds are being assimilated or changed here? Culture. The T-U-R, very good. T-U-R, let's do this one. Measure, measure. All right, let's articulate each sound. Messier, messier. Sounds pretty easy. It's very similar to closure. So again, it's S-U-R. And let's do this one. Let's do feature. All right, the word is feature. But if I were to articulate, it would be feature, feature. So our assimilated sounds are T-U-R. Go ahead, pause the video, do the rest on your own. And when you're ready, you can play the video and I will have the answers for you. Pause the video. All right, if you're playing the video, that means you've done this whole page by yourself, right? Watching you. All right, I trust you. All right, here are our answers. We have S-U-R assimilating in the word treasure, T-U-R in creature, S-U-R in pleasure, T-U-R in texture, S-U in sugar, you can hear it change to sh, T-U-R in lecture, lecture, S-U-R in sure, T-U in actu actual, S-U in usual, T-U in factual, T-U-R in picture, T-U in ritual, T-U-R in nature, T-U in spiritual, T-U-R in moisture, D-U in educate, T-U-R in adventure, D-U in individual, T-U-R in mixture, and D-U in gradual. All right, nice job. Go ahead and put your workbook away. 
It might help you on your exit ticket, wink, wink. I'm going to get out my whiteboard again. <clears throat> and I am I think just going to go over let me turn off that light. Um our plural forms of some of our words just as a quick refresher. All right. So the word tornado tornado how do we be, make tornado plural we add es or we add s right that's how we make words plural but which one is correct hmm Looking at them, I can see that ES is correct. What about tomato? All right, which one looks right? Remember, this is a very easy way to check our spelling. Just write it one way, and if it looks kind of weird, it's probably spelled the other way. For tomato, ES again is correct. What about photo? Let's add an ES and let's add an S. Which one looks correct? I'll tell you the correct one is just regular S. That looks like faux toes, ooh, toes. I don't want pictures of people's feet, of their toes. Just kidding. All right, let's look at Banjo. My kids learned about the banjo today in music class. All right, S or ES. Do you have one that looks right? This one's right. And let's do What word is this? Volcanoes. Which way is spelled correctly? This one, volcanoes. What about Which one looks right? Definitely this one, right? This one looks crazy. All right, what do you notice about making a word ending in O plural? Some of them follow the rule to make a noun plural at the ending S unless the word hisses or change, but others have an irregular spelling by adding ES, and some have more than one accepted plural form. So if you aren't sure, you could always just write it out, think about which one really looks right, or you could always get a dictionary. All right, great job, friends. We are all done today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.